Ro Khan is co-host of Rowan Roper and a contributor to the Windy City Live. Ro Khan, host of the radio show Rowan Roper. Now, what's really interesting is that three credit reporting agencies are able to figure out a fraudster in about 15 seconds on the web. Mm -hmm. How come the UN yeah. United States Great government point. can't do it? And here's another point. The new Commerce Secretary used to own TransUnion, the credit reporting giant. Why can't we call on her? In Illinois, Bill, you'll be shocked to hear this. A family of four making $45,000 a year. The actual payment for the silver plan, $742 a month. That's a Mercedes-Benz payment. And I think there's a lot of families that are like, whoa, whoa, I thought this was affordable health care. And it, it is not. Ro, I think the point you make is fascinating. Because now people are going to give, they've got the opportunity to judge whether or not this law was better than what they had before. This whole Ponzi scheme, if you will, is built on people actually buying into it. And once they go on the site and once they see what the dollar amounts are or they can't get past the security questions or any of the other glitches that have happened, they go away from it. And if they don't sign up for it, the money doesn't come into the system. The money doesn't keep the water level high enough in the system in order to actually spread the risk. The whole reason for this, this, this wasn't just built by the Obama administration. This has been going on for 20 years. The health insurance and the health maintenance industry wanted this kind of insurance pool. They needed more people, more, more money in this system. Now, this is the only way to really do it unless you go to a single payer system, unless you go to socialized medicine. So this is the private sector solution, ultimately. Business creates jobs for the worker. That's what's going on here. And income equality is a myth. There's no way to do it. You can't enforce and structure wages at a governmental level. You can only do it at, on supply and demand. And if there's a lot of unskilled, untrained workers out there, they're not going to make a lot of money. What you need to do is encourage people to go to school, get training, to work hard at their job, and they will prosper. The lofty nature of what Chris Christie was trying to say is accurate. People want to be hopeful. They actually want to work hard. I think the average American doesn't see themselves as a person who's just going to accept a handout and be happy with that. I think there's something ingrained in the American spirit that says, hey, we're going to go out and make something happen here. And, and, and he's touching on exactly that principle. Hardworking Americans do not like it when somebody who's not doing their job well is getting the same or better compensation than they are. And I think that's really where the divide's going to be. We will be. see. It's a big, big question for America right now. Ro, good to see you.